Hello everyone, welcome, welcome back to Mukul Maurya World Vlog. Myself Kalyani Mahesh and from today onwards we are starting the Ramayana, the epic journey of Rama, Sita, Lakshmana and Hanuman and why I started this Ramayana, the epic journey stories means Walden's travel Hong Kong. Sir Walden's have commented and asked me to say Rama and Sita stories. So I will mention the screenshot here. See and with his inspiration I am starting this Ramayana the epic journey stories from today onwards. Let's start the first story. Before starting just a foreword of Ramayana. Out of the many tales that will live with us forever, the Ramayana is a splendid account of the life of Lord Rama, Prince of Ayodhya. This book retells the story of Prince Rama and how he spent his life as a child and later his 14 years of exile with his beloved Sita, now dearly remembered by most of us as Mother Sita and how he bravely battled against the fierce and vicious king Ravana, the ten-headed demon of Lanka. Prince Rama, an incarnation of Lord Vishnu himself, has been deemed by many to be the ideal prince, ideal son and later on after conquering many feats with his wise and most loyal friend, comrade and devotee Hanuman by his side, the ideal king. Many till today live by his teachings, his kindness, his humility and his love for people. The Ramayana is the grand epic tale that has been retold through centuries in time by word of mouth passed on from generation to generation or through storybooks so that the tale lives on and every child and every individual, every one may know about it and continue to tell the tales of epic heroes and heroines of Hindu mythology. The great epic Ramayana, which literally means the story of Rama, was composed by the says Valmiki, whose story was just as interesting as was the great epic itself. Says Valmiki was called Ratnakara in his early days. He was a poor hunter who did not make enough money, so he was forced to do robbery so that he may be able to support his family. He would hide himself in the forest and attack passers by. One day Ratnakara attacked a says, What you are doing is wrong. My child, said the says. Ratnakara answered, I do this to provide food and clothes for my family. The says smiled and asked him, But will they share the sin you are committing for them? When Ratnakara heard this, he became silent. He knew that he alone would be responsible for his sins and no one else could share it. After this meeting, Ratnakara decided to mend his ways. He gave up robbery and became one of the greatest devotees of Lord Rama. He was so lost in his meditation that a Valmika or an anthill grew all around his body. It was from then on that the says came to be known as Valmiki and went on to compose the great epic the Ramayana. One day, says Valmiki was sitting under a tree near his ashram. He was looking at his surroundings and enjoying nature in full bloom. He smiled when he spotted a male and female bird frolicking. Suddenly, out of nowhere, an arrow struck the male bird, killing him in an instant. Valmiki turned and saw the hunter at a distance. When the sage saw the wailing female bird, he grew furious with what he hunted. In his rage, he uttered a curse in Sanskrit. You have killed an innocent bird and separated two lives. You will not live for long. After he spoke these words, says Valmiki felt different. He felt that they were not his own and wondered where they came from. Suddenly, Brahma, the presiding deity of letters, appeared before him. He told Valmiki that the words that he spoke were called sloka. With this sloka, you are to pen the story of Lord Rama so that his lesson lives on forever, ordered the deity. Honored that he was chosen to compose the great epic, the Ramayana, says Valmiki committed his life to the task. 
writing the tale that would live forever so this is the first story and tomorrow the kingdom of ayodhya the second story will be released and as a chosen by brahma valmiki wrote the story and sir walden's sir has asked to tell me the stories of rama and sita so i was so glad sir walden's sir thanks a lot for commenting under my video thanks for visiting my channel and watching my stories he had com commented this comment under lord ganesha stories thanks a lot and if you are the first one to visit my channel please like share and subscribe to mukul maurya world vlog so that you can have more and more stories to listen take care bye bye see you tomorrow with the second story of ramayana the epic journey